So as you guys are aware, with the previous update that we had, um, we did get a ruin update. Certain ruins that weren't getting used a lot, the developers have upped their, for the most part, their percentages. Some of the ruins obviously got some additional buffs, and uh, basically the end of it all is that the developers are trying to make it so that there's a bit of an incentive now to use certain um, skills. Obviously, going forward, they'll continue to do this. So I was kind of just going over them, which obviously I've saw. I, I've I've gone through them on paper, but um, I do want to try out one. But I do want to kind of cater to specific ones to you want to realistically cater for and forget about the others. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we can't exactly go about working on everything. The scrolls are very precious. Oh. And so, um, yeah, when it comes to the first one, Vital Strike, Internal Wound. So, basically, they've bumped up the damage. Now, this is one of the ones which I'm going to be Wait. using. Um this bad boy is giving us a defense decrease of 15%. I do have it in Heroic. I think in Legendary it goes to 20%. But this was one of the ones which I was surprised about. Um, on why not many more people using it. Because obviously with the defense decrease on the enemy. That could be pretty effective. Um, damage output is not too bad either. And now with the whole defense pen that we've got cooking up. Um, having defense decrease is not a bad shout. So this is one of the ones which I'm going to kind of... We utilize i'm for this showcase what we're about to do is we're going to go heavy on the defense get our defense pen up with suyun of course and then we're going to see if we can penetrate the plaz um but this is yeah th th this was one of the ones which was on my list of uh gave a thumbs up to so can't go wrong with that although there's an alternative version uh ruin that also did get bumped up that also provides more but slightly decrease on the defense um, by 3%, I think. 2 or 3%. Um, going forward, we've got Mutilate, Phantom, and Strike. Um, so, it is... No, that's Multi-Strike, sorry. This is Mutilate, there we go. So, I'm probably never going to be catering to Phantom. Um, the skill's cooldown is reset if it hits the target. It, it, yeah, I, I, I honestly can't see myself at any point utilizing this. Um, yeah, maybe down the line, who knows, but as of right now, not going to be it. Strike, on the other hand, this is the other one that um, you, you, well, we can't sleep on. Um, damage output-wise is pretty nice right now, before I've got it, of course. Fantastic. Um, but with this one, it gives you a, a full list. So um, when the skill hits, it inflicts an attack decrease and a defense decrease. So you're getting more. Obviously, the defense decrease is by 12%, whereas the... Um, the other skill, of course, gave us uh, an extra 3% more of the defense decrease, of course. But, yeah, this we can't sleep on. Not only that, um, when the skill hits, it activates and resets the cooldown of death and increases the damage by death by 20% for 5 seconds. If you guys don't know what death is, it is... Nope. There we go. It's the one where he just... Yeah, there we go. The AOE-ness. So that's not too bad. So, again, that is also on my radar. So this, this, this was a huge... Um, w to be honest so I'm um, again two of the ruins that I would say cater to um, and <laughs> it's the first two so beautiful on the damage increase and then uh, uh, and then obviously um, when the skill hits activates the corner for death and the increased damage of death is by 10 for rare 20 for heroic legendary for 30 for five seconds wait am I not on 20 wait a minute oh, no I'm on 20 okay yeah yeah le le legendary is 30 percent so I mean hey can't go wrong. So this is actually a pretty... Well, yeah, no, th this is one of the ones that got buffed up quite nicely. I will say that one. Dagatos, Bombardment, never going to use this. Never going to use I'm pretty sure it's the one that doesn't... Yeah, so pretty much if the enemy's knocked down, you get 30% on it. I actually can't really see myself using this unless I've got something that can knock a whole bunch of enemies down. Maybe the boss then possibly, miss? but nah, that damage output, I'm not really too keen on that. So yeah, we're going to just completely toss that out. Um, double slash, I'm, again, I'm not really too keen on this either, so uh, it is the multiply. Um, I mean, this isn't too bad because it works off from the cooldown for the skill. Uh, so when you defeat an enemy, there's a 70% chance for the skill to cool down. Um, and then if you um, hit an elite or a higher monster, then there's a 35% chance for it to cool down. And when the user uses the skill, it increases the damage of mutilate. So there's kind of like the... Uh, the link between the two um but again probably not going to be catering to this uh, and then of course flame slash got a buff too in terms of his damage output uh, they also did a little bit of helping hand on the recoil increase hit range oh no wait they, they increased hit range on both multiplier and flame slash in all honesty with needing fire ruins i mean there are better ones that you choose from 
um, in terms of a weakness and hitting multiple targets and whatnot. Again, just another one which I really don't see no one really using, unfortunately. So, I don't know. I mean, out of all the ones, this one could come in handy because it's got the element and advantage. And it might come in handy, but as of right now, I'm not really seeing any usage out of it. So, we'll leave that one be. Uh, vertical art, everything except the fire one. And, of course, I don't have the heroic version of it because, well, um, the game hates me. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but in all honesty... Yeah, I feel like it could have its moment in Battlefield of Time. Um, yeah, but as it stands right now, yeah, so they, they, they didn't change this one at all, but this could very well, even though it's mentioning normal monsters, Battlefield of Time, this could very well come in clutch. Um, Destroy I feel like with certain boss fights in Elite, we could come in handy, because I mean, you can't go wrong with counter attacking. And then to get the 200% uh, of Jumbo's attack and stuns the target upon a successful counter attack, that could come in clutch. So, Destroy. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I really wouldn't concern too much about the vertical arts, to be honest. Um, but good, good buffs, I'd say. Nothing too crazy though. Um, multi strike, uh, rush, illusion, and pummel. So they basically made it so that the breakage for this specific skill, rush, um, for the water element is. Uh, pretty done up quite nicely and for the work for brilliant light this is uh, pretty nice i've used it now and then of course with how they've helped it out in the breakage department with uh so when the final hit lands deals weak break damage every three seconds for nine 12 15 seconds so again it's just helping out the breakage department so that's pretty solid right now i'm just gonna say that so i'm happy with that um and then for the most part uh, the pummel one is also pretty nice i think they just upped the damage on pummel right no so they reduced the cost um, and then deals weak, uh, increase the corresponding effect, no changes in the description. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think out of the two, because I think, what was it? Oh, uh, Illusion also got it too. I mean, overall, Multi Strike as a whole is just a very, very good solid um, uh, ruin to have for, for each attribute. So, yes, yeah, all is solid. Well, they're, they're all solid. So, don't, I mean, well, then again, I'm sure most are making good use of the uh, Multi Strike rune. This as a whole is just a fantastic rune to have. Um, and then Commander's Touch, which unfortunately, I um, don't really. So, like this. Um, so we do get a defense decrease. So I mean, if you're tr if if you're trying to reduce uh, the, the the defense on a multiple sets of enemies, then okay, fair enough. Although there is a bit of a charge up to it, as you guys can see. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if that will if that will help us out. Um, and then the liberation, which again, I'm probably not going to be catering to at all. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, certain skills that they've buffed up that are going to be coming in hand. And with difficult content to have those little buffs coming in, especially in the damage department, pretty pretty good, pretty solid. But uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, um, I think for the defense penetration, what we're going to do is we are going to get the internal wound going. So that will give me the defense decrease equipped. And I'm, I'm in a slight... Now, here's the thing with me is that... I'm gonna. I, I want to cater to this. Um, although there are multiple enemies that I'm gonna be going for, so technically speaking, I could try out the uh, the liberation. Is it liberation? No, the finisher. Yeah, the finisher. Alrighty, let's do this. So um, I decided that you know what, boys, we're gonna take it. We're taking the finisher. We're taking the AOE defense decrease because uh, on floor 41 uh, there's a bunch of wolves. So in this scenario, by having Libora, this is actually a pretty decent combination. So, since we're really looking into, and since the majority of the defense decrease ruins did get buffed, eh, might as well, might as well. Kind of makes sense when it is kind of right now the defense penetration's time to shine. So I see what the developers are doing, but yeah, we got um, uh, what? Wait, wait, which one did I pick up? Ah, I've got the vertical vertical strike. I think that's the the defense. I was going to put on the one where I get the attack and the defense decrease of 12% each. Actually, it might have been a little bit more beneficial, but we'll see how this plays out. So um, and I should be doing more damage in the vertical arts anyway. So I mean, strike. My bad, not arts. Right. So first things first, we're going to group the hounds. Yeah. Let's see how this works out. Come on, boys. Come on. That's it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Libora, do you think? Okay, well that Let's exactly try. do you think. Okay, how does this work? I take that back. Wait. This is not a bad I mean, okay. I I, I should clarify, like in a in a scenario like this, 
it's a pretty decent skill run. Let me actually yeah, actually shoot him here. There we go. And then I, I hate the charge up, man. I hate that charge up. And they actually stay down for a long period of time. Wait, I might. Hmm. Okay. It's just the initial charge up that's horrible. Other than that, this actually is something. Okay. So now let's go. We're dropping the defense of yours, boy. But I didn't even check the damage. Oh god, wait, I, I kind of want to try this. Damn! That's... The fact that... Oh, I, I hate the fact that I'm looking into... 700k? Damn, okay, hold on a minute. New meta looking really nice, if I say so myself. There we go. Now! Oh god. Okay. When... When the boss can get um, flinched, that's like the best time to use it. So, for example, if I, if I had it right there and then, that would have been beautiful. Nope, we don't want any of that. So right here, stay there, my guy. Appreciate you. Oh, God. And then, whoop! Okay, very nice. Wait a minute. Loki, we are cooking with this. Nope. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I mean, time-wise, for, for any game mode that requires time, it's not the best, but I mean, if you're just trying to casually get through a fight, I mean, Loki, it ain't too bad. Okay, we're just gonna avoid that. He can flinch now. Oh! Oh no, my skill consumption... Nope. There we go. Double up on that. Oh, hello. Okay. Flinch him all the way. Where's he running off to? Oh god. Nope. Stay down! That did nothing! That did nothing. Oh my god. Okay. I just need to hope and pray. Nope. I saw that coming a mile off. I'll cut you in half. Pin him down! Yeah, that start up is horrible. Wow. But, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not too shabby. You guys, well, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I am put. Uh, well, I decided to use the other skill that gives me attack and um, defense down, of course. Kind of reminds me of Sasuke, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of gives me that Chidori feel. I think that's kind of reason why I'm, I might like it a lot. It just reminds me of me doing a Chidori. <laughs> Um, either way, I'm going to leave it there. So again, just kind of wanted to go over the Rubens that were buffed up. And um, yeah, most to all of the defense decrease were the ones that got buffed. And uh, yeah, not to be slept on now that we can really cater to the whole defense penetration uh, meta. And I will say the, the the finisher, I mean, then again, it's got 1500 percentage in damage, which is beautiful. Um, horrible startup, but uh, pinned down, not too bad. Well, knocked down, should I say. And good amount of damage. Again, good, nice clearing out like a lot of normal monsters should I say even against um, certain elites and bosses it could come in handy but time wise I wouldn't really utilize that um, I guess if you're just trying to have fun or I guess if it's doing damage for you then fair enough get it going but yeah that one kind of shocked me then again I have used it way way back and it was doing decently well I just it's just the beginning part of the startup and when you're locked in it it just puts you in that vulnerable state. And the fact that I can take a lot more damage because I've got the Scythe and my gear set on, 40% in total, yeah, I really don't want to get tagged. Um, right. Either way, things to look out for now with these upgraded ruins. Some of these ruins are not to be slept on now. We can really cater to them and utilize them in uh, many, many different ways.